Episode 20 of The Journeyman, and I'll be honest, things are going well. In fact, they're actually going a little bit too well. Like, seriously, too well. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Tony here. Welcome along to episode number 20. That's right, number 20 of The Journeyman. Um, If you've been following the series so far... Thank you so much for your continued support. I genuinely appreciate it. I uh, hope you're enjoying the series. And um, if you are, of course, do remember um, to pop a like on the video, drop a comment below. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Uh, get yourself subscribed. That's probably the only thing I need to tell you at this point. Get yourself subscribed. Turn your notifications on. If you want to go back, check some of the previous videos that lead us up to this point, feel free to do that. But where we are at this point is we are managing in Turkey in League One, and we are in charge of Bursa Sport. So, halfway through my first season in Turkey, and we're currently sat, as you can see there, joint top, with a game in hand. Um, I mentioned at the start, things are going a little bit better than I expected. Um, I wasn't expecting to be sat top at this stage of the season, nearly halfway through, but we've got a lot of green dots uh, on the previous results, so very happy with that. Um, this is a is a 2-1 win in the fourth round of the cup against uh, Pazaspor. That is a lovely little animation. By the way. A nice little back heel goal uh, to set us off on our way. And um, this goal, which is the second one, is called by Tolgahan. Uh, we're going to keep an eye out on him because he looks like a cracking little talent, to be honest. And um, so we'll keep our eyes. I think he's going to become quite an important player for us as the series goes on. Uh, so he's uh, definitely one we will be using more. Um, so that was a, a victory in the cup. Now I thought we were going to sort of use that momentum, uh, go back in the league and do well, but it seemed like we had a bit of a hangover, to be honest. Ended up losing two one here. Anis with a goal there. We got caught out on that free kick by the way, which was kind of well worked. Um, but then we got caught defending a little bit too high, um, and that made it two one. So I mean. I'll be honest, we probably have been guilty of defending a bit too high because we play quite an attacking formation, we're quite aggressive. So maybe we need to look at that uh, as we go uh, further into the season. Melly with the header there to make that 1-0. And then uh, Melly actually turned provider of sorts for the second goal as Ergachan uh, picks uh, the second goal out there in what became another victory. Lovely ball in there for Burkhan from a free kick. That gave us a goal's head start. Five minutes to go. I mean, this was just crazy, by the way. Like, all these goals coming right at the end of the game. And it's saved by the keeper. Then just a little dink over the top uh, on the rebound. That's 87 minutes. 92 minutes. We have a, a goal from uh, from the, the uh, our visitors. And I'm like going, oh, come on. We don't deserve to concede a goal. 93 minutes. So we then go down the other end and we make it 3-1 with 95 minutes. So that's fine, right? And all of a sudden I was happier because 3-1 seemed a more uh, reasonable result given the performance. Um, this is the first leg of the fifth round of the cup. There's our man Tolgahan again. Told you he's a player to keep our eyes on, didn't I? Um, Samson Spore, by the way, in the Turkish Super League. So even though this finished 2-2, and we were the away side, that's a pretty good result, to be honest. So we're going to see the second leg in this episode. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, the goalkeeper will be performing like that in the second leg and letting goals in from distance. Uh, I felt bad for Diara here. He's gone in there for a tackle just to try and, and, and intercept the ball, but it's unfortunately not the ball into the path of Kamal, who's then gone and slotted in the equaliser uh, with a few minutes to go. So sadly... Um, a 2-2 draw so you know we're gonna have we've got it all to do in the second leg um we're still in the mix for it so it could be quite exciting to watch we also have a league game uh before that though i mean that's a great strike by the way there from senol who uh, i have to let you in a little secret senol's been kicking off a bit off camera he wants a move and i think we're gonna have to begrudgingly let him go now We've obviously mentioned previously that we're not going to try and get too attached to players. And if they, I mean, look at, look at that. Pick that one out. Salah, great goal. Um, we're going to try and not get ourselves too attached to players. But, and of course, the prerequisite here is that we have to sell players for a profit. So if he wants to go, then he's going to go. Um, and the fact that he kicked off and, and quite a few of the 
players in the dressing room backed him and said we should really be getting rid of him. I was like, right, fine. You guys want to get him going, then we'll get him going. So we may start looking for offers for him, which is a shame because he's a really, really good player. But, you know, we can't have that in the side. So um, so this is the league game we're going to play. We're going to play against uh, Fati here. Uh, Atterberg is our goalkeeper. It's Kamal, Diara, Hassan, Kurachai, Burkan, Ozan, Koch, Ergachan, Meli, Erkan Soya, Sonol and Anis is the starting eleven. On the bench, we've got Tolgahan, number 46 there, uh, Metinchan, uh, Kerim Sen, Bulind Kosh and Haki Yildiz. They're players that you've maybe seen a little bit of before, so when their names get called out, you might be going, oh, we've seen them, uh, and they're pretty good players, so we should hopefully uh, have enough about us to get through this match. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, three wins in our last five games, one defeat, that's not ideal, but... Hopefully, you know, as I say, we're level on uh, at the top of the table on points. We've got a game in hand. Um, fact, they actually haven't lost in the last five games. That's slightly better form than we have. Uh, but they're sat fourth, the nine points behind us. Look at that goal difference. We've got 21 goal difference. Um, so, as we said before, we're banging the goals in, uh, which could, could, could prove very valuable come the end of the season. So, I'm expecting a tight game. Um, obviously, we need to kind of keep ourselves relatively tight early doors because uh, we don't want to do anything silly like that, for example. Um, it's been disallowed, but oh, what's it? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, ah, take your pick. Take your pick. There's five of them. Five of them offside there, all in a line. Um, but that's an early warning. That's an early warning that they're not going to sit back. And uh, there's Anis has made it 1-0. Get in. 12 goals now. 12 goals for Anis this season. Um, he's proved to be quite a signing. I'll be honest with you. Um, 12 goals cost us nothing. He's come in and he's lo he looks the part. He genuinely looks the part. And... He's scoring, he's scoring different kinds of goals as well, which is really exciting. So he's not just getting the same style of goals. He's not just getting tap-ins. He's not just getting um, breakaways or whatever. Um, so he does give us really, really good options um, in terms of uh, of how we attack and, and goal-scoring threat. Uh, Erkan Sir going quite close there. And unfortunately, we're going to get a second go at the corner now, I reckon. Diara back out to work on Sarah again. Can he work the ball in? No, he's got another corner. Just keeping the pressure on. He needs to just maybe look to take that ball and try and again he doesn't beat the first man, but gets a second go again and it's been cleared for a throw in. And we're just gonna have to try and keep the pressure on because we're not doing it. We're not really looking to put the ball in at the minute. Because I guess we kind of still got work the box uh, instructions on, which is fine because I think we've got the players who can look for those spaces but they're defending very very neatly so we are struggling to look to break them down you can see they're all sat um in like a really neat uh formation and quite deep so we might have to look for something slightly different as the game progresses there's senol can he get through is he gonna go <laughs> he's put it wide he's, i don't understand why he's tried to score from there but he has, and, and unfortunately, he's put it wide. Now, um, nothing really else happened before uh, the half-time after that, so we're just going to quickly skip through dressing room, give a bit of a team talk, say everything's going fine, and just hopefully we can keep ticking on. Um, quite a few bookings, which is a bit strange to be honest. I know we, again, I suppose we are quite aggressive, um, not just in terms of... of of our play going forward but I guess in terms of our pressing and our tackling can be a little bit rash at times so uh, players carrying bookings is not really a massive surprise but um, when they're all when you've got three of your defenders on yellow cards it's it's an issue and and one of your midfielders have got to pull that ball back and again and someone's gone down have we got a penalty no we haven't no I don't really know what's gone on there but there's a long ball and oh I said before, didn't I, about how we defend quite high and it's caught us out again. 
I might need to look at this. I might need to look at dropping back. I mean, it's it, it's route one, isn't it? It's absolutely route one. I mean, box to box, technically, you know, from the edge of one 18 yard box to the edge of the other. Um, it's we can't really complain. We can't really complain. You know, you, you got to defend against it, haven't you? Um, that's a nice tackle. Unfortunately, we can't get the ball through. Come on, Melly, get the ball in. Needs to try and pick someone out. Met in chance. It's back and it's bobbling and it's not going to go in. It's going out for a corner. Need to try and get something now. We're going to take a short corner. Erkan, sir. To Met in Chan. Back to Sir. Puts it in. And where's it gone? Oh, it's come all the way out here. Just not our day. It's not our day at all, is it? We're not getting anything that's really penetrating their defence sadly and I think um, good challenge by Ozan there come on we need to win this ball back we're just trying to slowly regroup rather than press and that's not quite our style but I guess we're a little bit tired Ozan so close so close is that it is that going to be it 16 attempts, 4 on target. That says it all, doesn't it? That says it all. Final whistle, one all. Um, not bad. Not bad in the grand scheme of things. I suppose I'll take it, you know what I mean? I'll take a draw against a team who are currently sat fourth. But should really be winning games, shouldn't we? We need to... We need to just, just keep that form going. That's what we need. And... Hopefully, hopefully this isn't going to be too much of an issue that we've dropped a point here. Two points dropped, one point gained, I suppose. You know, we've gone back top, we're top by a point, so can't really be too downhearted, to be honest. As, as much as I would have liked a victory, yeah, I'll take a draw, that's fine. You know, as long as we can keep pushing on and uh, and start to get a bit of distance between ourselves and and at least a bit of distance between ourselves and like third. Um, so at least it's sort of a bit more comfortable there. But anyway, on to the cup now. Second leg of the fifth round against Samson Spore. The fans are hopeful. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be exciting. It's going to be very, very exciting to be honest. Because as I say, we go into it 2-2. Uh, Away goals do count double after 90 minutes and after extra time. And then there's potentially penalties. And I'll be honest, I probably won't do very well at penalties. I never do well at penalties. Um here's the here's the squad. Here's what we're gonna who's here's who's gonna go and do the business. At the Birkin goal, Isaac Twum is back. Diara, Kamal, Burkan, Ozak Chun, Ergachan, Metin Chan is in, Tolgahan is in, Senol and Anis. That's the team that I believe can finish the task off so 2-2 against Premier Division Samson Spore I wasn't expecting to still be in the tie I'll be honest the, the plan was not to show this game on camera I was expecting to take an absolute hammering in the first leg so this is kind of a bit of a bonus really um, and hopefully we can do alright because uh, as I say the first leg was was much better than I expected. Here's Met in Chan, it's in and it's Anna, it's Anis. <laughs> Anis has made it one nil. I don't know how many I don't know how many touches he needed in the box, but six minutes in, and Anis has done what Anis does, which is one, two, two, possibly three, but at least two touches in the box there. Could have just took it the first time. Um but that's put us ahead, and like I was gonna say, it's given us like one hand on, and I was like, no, it hasn't given us one hand on the cup at all. It's given us one more foot into the next round. That's where we're at. Um, now it's just a, it's gonna be a concentration game, isn't it? Like you know, ten minutes into the first half, we're already a goal up. Burkan swings the ball and headed away. And it's come out as far as Diara. Diara picks it back to Twum, who's found Metin Chan. Metin Chan into Tolgahan! 
<laughs> yes. Oh, like, as I say, this guy is going to be so important to us. This is why I'm almost not fussed that Senol wants to go, because I think we've got a ready-made replacement in him. I know he plays in a slightly different position. We're playing him in that sort of shadow striker role um, rather than, than on the left, which is where Senol plays, but he can play out on that left. Um, but that is a great goal, a great goal, and we're now 4-2 up on aggregate. Are we... I can't get carried away, can I? I can't. No, I can't. I clearly can't. Ah, Kemal Ruzgar. He scored in the first leg. He scored after that Diara interception that he then ran on and finished off. And this one's just, he's got a mile of space. He's got an absolute acre of space. Um, He could have took it down. He could have read a book. He could have made a sandwich, then scored. So terrible marking, terrible marking. Always the way, in it? It's always the way. You go from sitting comfortably and they say that 2-0 is not the best scoreline to be sat with because you do instantly go, do we do we sit back? Do we just rest our laurels? Do we do we push on again and like try and get a third? Um and I guess we've just kept doing what we're doing and now it's two one. And that was after only 16 minutes. So granted, not a lot else happened in the in that first half. But for the first 16 minutes, there's three goals and the tie is very much still on. Um, and my confidence is... It's on the wane a little bit, I'll be honest. It's on the wane. Um, we're still doing well. We're still outperforming our opposition. We've got 63% possession. We've got seven shots to their four. We are 2-1 up, but of course there's always going to be that little niggling Tolga Han. A oh, goalkeeper's made a right mess of that one. And he, um, defenders managed to get it clear, but Tolga Han trying effort from distance. It wasn't really troubling the goalkeeper, and he's, he's if anything, he's actually made it look more of a chance than it was. Uh, nice ball now for Kamal, and he's made it 2-2. He's made it 2-2. Oh, ten minutes to go. Ten minutes to go, and we've been hit over the top again. We're not quite as high as we were. I mean, fair play to him; it's a great finish. He, he can only put it one place, and it's got to be in that bottom corner. And it's just, just past at the Burke, but it's frustrating. It's a bit frustrating. Um, let's maybe draw that defensive line just in case they try and ping some balls up over the top because we've got a couple of players who are a little bit tired now and we have, as you've seen, been susceptible to long balls so if we drop a bit further back hopefully we should at least be able to see out the the 90 minutes and then if there's extra time We'll re re uh, we'll have a look at it then here's Hassan and he's gone for goal and he shouldn't have he shouldn't have he should have squared it he should have squared it <sighs> extra time so away goals can't count double now so that's two away goals coming in this match as well. I thought that was our ace up our sleeve. I thought two away goals would have been would have been great. <sighs> Never mind. Let's try because we've seen that we've put a lot of possession down that that left hand side. Let's see if Tolgahan can do a bit more damage by drifting. Let's see if drifting will work. Um. I don't know what our options are. If if it goes to penalties, if it goes to penalties, I don't know what we're going to do because we've got players who are tired. 
We don't have any more options to change players around. In fact, it might not even get there. It might not even get there. I can't believe it. Oh. Beres Burke with the goal. Erin drags two players. Drags two players. And then this guy here just switches off. And just allows Beres Burke to walk forward into so much space. And then smashes it past at the Burke. And it's 3-2. And that's them with three away goals now. So we've got to get... We've now got to score two more goals. Because it's not going to penalties now. It's not going to penalties now. Um, right, so we've got to win 4-2 now. 4-3, uh, sorry. Anis. Hassan. Tolgahan! Brilliant strike. Brilliant strike. 10 minutes to go. 12 minutes to go. Have we got it in us? Have we got it in us to get another one? That's a brilliant goal. Uh, he is genuine. Like, I'm, yeah, right. I'm excited by Anis, but I'm just as excited now by Tolgan. I think he is going to be one of my favourite players uh, at Versus Sport. And I hope. I hope I've not given him the kiss of death. By <laughs> here's Anis. Actually, he's intercepted. Go on, dart for it. Go on, give it some. Oh, again, just the wrong option. Wrong option. Oh, this is what's going to cost us, isn't it? Silly mistakes, bad decisions. Um, I mean, to be fair, there was nobody in the box for him to square it to, which is not necessarily his fault, but. There's the final whistle. Well, we got close. We got close. I suppose we can't really complain too much. Um, we probably weren't expecting to do to beat them, but to hold them over two legs. We've scored five goals against a team in the Super League. Granted, we've also conceded five goals. Can't be too upset with the players, to be honest. Um, minimum requirement this year was to get the fifth round of the cup. We've done that, I guess. Now it means we can refocus back on the league, try and get ourselves out of the league and promote it into the Super League. Um, and I guess that's kind of all we can do, really. To be honest, it's a bit frustrating, yeah. But ha, it's, you know, the cup was never on the cards. To be honest, the league's got to be the bread and butter. So uh, we'll go back to hopefully uh, push a bit more towards promotion. So. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, give it a like. Drop some comments below. Um, let me know what you thought in terms of players and performances. Um, if you haven't, of course, subscribed. Do subscribe to the channel. That's much appreciated. Uh, we also have a Discord. And there's a, a, a tier 10 save as well on the channel called Grassroots to Glory. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope we'll see you very, very soon on the next episode of The Journeyman. Oh, 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 oh,